Hey there, it's Jeremy. I thought I'd uh, have a little quick explanation of the Google remarketing. So you might have noticed that you, you browse to a website for a business. So let's say you browse to a website for a storage company because you're looking at where can I store the things for my business and um, like where can I put my furniture or my um, you know documents and that kind of stuff. So you're looking around their website maybe not ready to buy, he might be in the research phase, but you decide, no, I'm not quite ready for that. So you leave that website, off you go to another website. It might be a news website or a blog or some other website that's got Google ads on it. It's very popular now. A lot of businesses will, maybe not sort of small businesses, but media type businesses uh, or websites that rely on their advertising will use the Google ad network to help generate some of that revenue. And, and typically you can see it has a little, uh, like a line across the top that says you know, sponsored ads or ads provided by Google, that kind of thing. So when you end up on this other website, the blog or the news website, and suddenly you're seeing ads for this storage website that you went to that earlier that day. And you might just think, oh, that's coincidental. How interesting. I you know, maybe they've got an affiliation with that website. It just happened that the company you're on happened to be getting advertising from that other company. Well, it's not just a coincidence. Essentially, Google is tracking where you've been and then using that information to feed back certain ads to you. So Google store Google's ad system stores a cookie on your computer, which is... Uh, like a text file with a little bit of information to identify you. So Google knows oh, the same person across maybe different internet connections, all that sort of thing. Because it, it might be you've got your laptop at work and then at home and then on the wireless. Well, if, if Google just relied on your internet address, it would change all the time. So what it does is keeps a cookie on the computer um, and some session information sometimes too. And that information it uses in a split second to feedback certain ads to you. So Google's computer ad system knows, okay, you were on the ad for the storage company, and now you're on this other website, and if the storage company has a remarketing program set up, which is these sort of ads that follow you around, then it will display those ads if it thinks that they're relevant and they're paying for them. So it's very powerful because... You can kind of stalk people around the internet. Now, it's, there's a surprising number of ver even very big websites and small websites that use Google advertising. It's a probably a very dominant platform. There's a lot of businesses that will have um, either subtly or not so subtly ads on the top or the side of their page and things like that. And if you have a business type that is let's say requires more research. You know, if you're, if you're an uh, electrician and, um, and you're doing emergency repairs and someone Googles, I need an electrician in Melbourne, well, okay, they, they're probably not going to check out 10 different websites and try and compare all the features and whatever. They'll probably check a couple, pick one they like, give them a call, away they go. I'm making an assumption there, but let's just say, pick a business type where the research process is pretty short and people just want to solve their problem. Compare that to a business that requires a fair bit of um, time for people to decide and make up their mind. So you might be, let's say it's a, uh, you visit the Crown Plaza website. Okay, so a big accommodation website. And they've got Google Ad remarketing set up. So what happens, <clears throat> you go to the Crown Plaza and then you might end up on a, a travel comparison website like um, What If or Last Minute or TripAdvisor or one of those uh, websites where they have ads to support their um, website. Those ads could be showing Crown Plaza. And so what they can do then is feed those people back into their offer. And it's really, it's another way of capturing people beyond that initial search because it's quite, it's relatively easy in Google to capture that first search where someone goes to Google and they type in, um, 
I need someone to do the tiling for my bathroom. Or um, l plumbers in Maitland. Or whatever it is they type in. <clears throat> so there's that initial search. And off they go to whatever website's hopefully yours. But they may not be ready to make a decision. And so you can use remarketing to capture their attention later on. So especially you know, if you're selling like a book or uh, maybe a holiday or, or something where there's this like delayed purchase cycle, you can get their attention back into your website where you might have lost them otherwise because they may not have the tab open in their browser anymore and things like that. So the remarketing is very powerful and you can get very good return on investment if it's done well and with the right sort of products and and you know, a good offer as well. You need to get them back to the website. So you can't just say, well, you could. You could. The best thing is if you give people an offer like, hey, you've just been to our website. Do you want to come back and here's a special offer or something like that? You, you give them a motivation for coming back other than just, um, oh, hey, we're here. <laughs> so uh, you can certainly improve that um, that reach. And, espe and especially if people are using review type websites or or aggregator websites to compare and things like that because those websites very often will use Google Ads to support their costs and, and so those Google Ads can be the remarketing ones. Okay, so that's uh, a few little explanation about Google remarketing. Uh, it is something we're experimenting with um, and putting in place for some of our Google Ads clients and if you're managing your own Google Ads campaign or you have someone managing it for you, it's well worth taking a look at it because it can be a very good way of increasing your conversion back to a customer. Okay, have a great day. Thank you.